Hey guys, what's up? I'm Andre, and today I want to show you how we can all use the GraphEQL Explorer that we know from Gatsby for development sites on GridSum as well. Let me start with uh, actually running the GridSum website. If you've seen uh, some of my Twitches uh, about this topic, you know that I've developed a wedding site on GridSum, and uh, in a second when that site starts, I'm going to show you how the GraphQL Explorer looks like when we're just using GridSum. So this is how the GraphQL Explorer looks like in uh, the GridSum implementation. You see, we don't get a list of available data. What we get uh, when I hit Ctrl and Space is a list of properties that we have available. But you have to know what you're looking for. Otherwise, it's um, it gets very hard uh, getting all the items if you don't know their exact names. So, for example, if we're looking for all invitees and we want to get their name, it's uh, actually quite easy to go through the, the tree, but you have to know what you're looking for. You have to know that you're looking for edges, nodes, and in the node we have a name. So this way I can uh, build the query, but when it comes to filtering and other stuff, this gets really complicated. Um, Gatsby actually has much better alternative. Let me show you guys that. So this is how the Graph GraphEQL Explorer in Gatsby looks like. You see on the left side, it's much easier to navigate through the tree and find the uh, data that we are looking for and run it. So how can we get this experience in GridSum? There's actually a great article written by Phila Savory on, and it's available on his blog where he um, explains how you can actually get the Graph GraphEQL Explorer in your Visual Studio Code in one minute. So let's take a look. Uh, we can install the VS Code Graph GraphEQL Explorer extension. So I'm gonna open my Visual Studio Code and look for that extension. It's right here, so I'm gonna install it. And the extension is now enabled. The next step would be in my repository root. While my development server is running, and you see my development server is running, to generate a GraphQL schema for the plugin with the following command. So let's try to do that. I'm gonna jump back here in the terminal in VS Code and execute what was there. And the last step is actually exclude the schema GraphQL file from the git ignore. So let's do that as well. So in the git ignore, I'm just gonna add the schema.graphql here. And you see the file was already generated. And the third step is profit. So we can now use the GraphQL Explorer inside VS Code if we run Explorer Schema with GraphQL command. So let's see. Ctrl Shift P and try to open that. Oops, I have an extra comma here and the comments right there. And if you get an error like this, it's because the file is encoded in the wrong way. So what we can do is take a look back at the generated schema and rebuild that file in Explorer. I'm going to open it with Notepad. I'm going to change the encoding to UTF-8. And let's try to run that command again. Okay, now we get the Graph Equal Explorer here and we can browse through all the items be very easily, just like we can with Gatsby. It's also very easy to filter uh, or to, to click through the filter and define it as we go. So, great job, Phila. Your article worked well, and uh, now it's uh, much easier to actually compose the GraphQL queries for a great sum. So, have a good luck with your projects on GridSum. If you like this video, uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash underbus or see my Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash underbus. And I'll see you next time.